know if you met Mr. Bro or not. Oh, uh, Mr. This Bro, vaguely. This is Mr. Kenny Albro. I think I vaguely remember Kenny. He is somewhat famous for his uh, three stick. I bet you didn't bring one with you. Like an American oh, Express card, I don't leave You have got to give us a demonstration to the council. Well, it takes a little while to get my mind clear. So yeah, in that's order to, say, in order to properly demonstrate the hoodie stick, you have to be able to clear your mind of all extraneous thought and focus on nothing but hoodie. Well, I happen to be the hoodie master because my mind is full of nothing but hoodie. Well, that explains why I never could do it. Exactly. And so it's special. You can focus on nothing but hooey, you're not stick worthy anyway. Yeah. And so when you become stick worthy, you know that your mind is full of nothing but hooey, and you'll be able to operate with stick flawlessly. Oh, I see. So I wondered what my problem was. I made it a lifetime practice. Just I know you're a hooey master. You're full of hooey. <laughs> Oh, seriously, now he, he, he is. He's mind. a hooey master. He's a hooey master. He clear my mind to think about the hooey thoughts and to call upon the magic of the hooey stick. It's, uh, it's something to be home. So we're going to behold this maybe today. To, I well, I'll have, to, I'll have to find the proper stick. I've got large ones and I've got small ones. And I'm going to have to determine which is the perfect stick for this afternoon. The sun's shining. And so I can probably exactly. bring out the middle size hoodie stick and it'll be appropriate. Yeah, I'm curious as to what exact criteria is involved in determining. Well, you have, to, you have to get a sense of barometric pressure, you see. You can't just operate the hooey stick in real humid conditions or real dry conditions. It has to be right. Mm -hmm. Now, you see where I'm going with this, yeah. being able to focus on pure hooey? Yeah, I understand that's that. That's why how I it, could never manage That's kind of how it goes. See, yeah. the sun has to be oriented properly in the sky. The barometric pressure has to be, the humidity level has to be at, a, at the proper uh, uh, degree. Now, I realize and it's there's a complicated a lot of, process. Oh, People look at it and think, well, anybody can do that. Well, no, I'm afraid not. See, there's two there's two parts to the hooey stick. First, you've got the hoo, and then you've got the e. Now, some folks, they're able to get the little propeller to turn in one direction. That means they've got the hoo. But without the e, you've got no hooey. Oh. In other so words, you go. the hoo without the e. You really don't have anything. I'm afraid this right here is going to destroy my reputation all around the world. It well, very well made. <laughs> I'm seeing the beginning and the end for me. Well, I'm going to tell you. Oh, no, no, seriously, he is full of hooey now. He 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 is the hooey master. I, a, I, I can already. I've already. See, I've determined I, that I he is definitely right the hooey now, master, and he is going around the world. Mr. Bro, now there, uh, can we expect you to give us a demonstration? Once you meet the criteria that is necessary to, to provide a proper demonstration. I'll go prepare myself. As a matter of fact, this is a proverbial hooey stick. And as you notice, there's nothing in the world but a stick with some little notches on it and a little propeller that turns. Now, using the magic of the hooey and this little stick, I can make that propeller turn in one direction and it will continue in that direction until I say hooey and it will stop in midair and reverse direction and will turn in that direction until I say hooey again or just call on the hooey to stop. So the one with the propeller is the hooey That's stick. That's the hooey stick. And the other one is the... This is the actuator. The actuator. Yes. As you notice, it's nothing but a round stick. It has no magical properties whatsoever. No, it looks this like as kind, well, of, kind of a dial pen exactly. type thing. This as well has no magical properties. However, the hooey master. You call upon the magic of the hooey, and in the hands of the hooey master, hooey can be seen by everyone. And I'll demonstrate just for a few seconds. I really don't feel like the atmospheric conditions are proper, but I'll do the best I can. Whoa. Now you'll notice that, that that propeller will turn in that direction until I say hooey, at which time it'll stop and go back in the other direction until I say hooey again, at which time, see the atmospheric condition. Somebody had an impure thought 
that totally derailed my Huey match. Uh, could be one of these guys right here. It could have been somebody close by that was a non-believer. Well, no, it certainly it's was. It's got to be a non-believer. Yeah, I'm a non-believer. There's, there's a negative. Let's see. If you don't have people focused on pure Huey, it's very, very difficult to get this to work. Well, now I'm, that man right standing so close to me. Well, let's back over here and, right, and, and over here and uh, get away. Yeah, get away need, from. Uh, we need to put distance between ourselves and those um, that have impure hooey thoughts. I mean, I'm, you already got me a believer because I was seeing it. Okay. Hooey. Now, see how much better that works. That just hooey. Unbelievable. See. You get out away from somebody who has impure thoughts and is negative toward the magic of the hooey, and it works perfectly. Every so, time, even in less than optimum condition. Right. So you you do know that by my filming it, it working. That, right. That I'm a believer in it. Oh, you can testify. Yeah. You've seen the magic of the hooey in operation. And, and this gentleman yeah. right here, he has also <laughs> become a believer. Absolutely. The the it's not a bunch of hooey. <laughs> <laughs> Now wait just it a minute. Works. <laughs> it may be nothing but it. Yeah, well, yeah, it could be. Oh. It's kind of, it's you kind guys of are getting, I'm getting a cramp in my rib cage. <laughs> oh, well, that, well, that's no hooey. No hooey. Okay, well, uh, it's been good. Well, thank and you, I've Kenny. Enjoyed it. Uh, that's, you're going worldwide with this, buddy. <laughs> it's you over. Too.